The Irish Setter is a skilled hunter with striking red coat and a sweet, gentle and outgoing temperament. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Irish Setter. Number 1. Origin The exact Irish setter ancestry is unknown, but it's believed that they were developed in 17th or 18th century in Ireland, where hunters crossed pointers, flushing spaniels and some other setters together to create excellent, versatile and effective gun dog that would be able to track, point and retrieve birds. Number 2. Color Today, the Irish setter is known for its beautiful striking red coat, but initially the Irish setters were red and white, but in 19th century all red dogs started to be bred, which was the first dogs that are really resembling today's standard Irish setters. Today, both color variations, the all red Irish setter and Irish red and white setter, are officially recognized as separate breeds. Number 3. Coat Speaking of the coat, the Irish setter coat is relatively long, flat and reasonably straight. It may have a little wave though. On the chest, back of the legs and on the tail the coat is a little bit longer and the ears have a silky fringe. The colors range from light red to deep mahogany. Number 4. Two types Today there are two Irish setter types, the show dogs and the field dogs, and there are some important differences between those two. The Irish setter show dogs tend to be larger and heavier, and they have more fancy and thicker coat. The size difference can be pretty big, since the show dogs can reach up to 70 pounds. The typical weight of the field Irish setter is around 45 pounds. The field dog also can have patches of white on their chest and face. Number 5. High energy well, this shouldn't be that surprising since those dogs were bred for hard work, but it's important to mention it anyway. Irish setters have a lot of energy and high exercise needs. They will always be ready for any kind of an outdoor adventure. It can be longer walks, hikes or runs. And those dogs truly enjoy working, so if you are not hunting with them, you can try some dog sport, for example agility, trekking or rally. Number 6. Family Companion Owning the Irish Setter is not only about working or exercising with the dog, because this is also a very loving, social, outgoing and friendly dog breed, who just loves its family. This dog creates a strong bond with its owner. Their gentle and even-tempered nature also make this dog good partner for older kids. They also do not have problems with other dogs, but smaller household pets might be problematic, since the Irish Setter is a hunter after all, and they do have higher prey drive. Number 7. Training The Irish setters have reputation of dogs that are not easy to train. But that doesn't mean they are stupid, it's quite the opposite. Irish setters are extremely smart, but also quite independent and mischievous. You will have to be firm, patient and let's say creative trainer to keep your dog entertained. Shorter training sessions are better suited for this dog and it's always a good idea to mix the training session with some physical exercise or playtime. Number 8. Puppyhood Irish setters are slow to mature. Some people say that they settle down by the age of 2, but I would say that majority of them is pretty puppy-like for their entire lives. If they are healthy, they will always be very playful and mischievous. You can be sure that you will never be bored with the Irish setter. Number 9. President's Dog it seems that American presidents just love Irish setters, because at least three of them owned it. The first one is Harry Truman, who owned an Irish setter called Mike. The second is Ronald Reagan and his Peggy. And the last one, which is probably the most famous one, is Richard Nixon's Irish setter named King Timahoe, or just Tim. Number 10. Health the Irish Setter is a relatively healthy dog breed with average lifespan between 12 to 15 years. Problems that have been noted in Irish Setters include gastric torsion, progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, epilepsy, hypothyroidism and von Willebrand's disease. Tell me in comments what you like the most about the Irish Setter and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.